All right, welcome to the roasting. Why'd you do that? <sighs> We're in sync. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Reroll. Uh, we're, we're glad to be with you guys again. This is our first podcast since uh, the summertime. Uh, a lot's happened since then. We started a new series mm-hmm. called uh, Shift. And uh, the concept behind that is shifting uh, our mind, shifting uh, who we are and everything about our lives to model more like Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've been talking about shifting to faith for the past couple of, of weeks. And last night we talked about shifting to traditions or shifting from, from traditions tradition. yeah. to faith. And we also started this really cool video uh, thing uh, as people are walking in. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to show that and talk about that uh, right at the end of this. But yeah. Um, but yeah, shifting from tradition to faith. And so uh, what I talked about with the middle school was how tradition, it, it makes us feel good and look good. Um, it doesn't save us, but... It is helpful mm-hmm. with the right heart and right motive of uh, uh, to have these traditions or religious acts yeah. um, to help grow us in our faith. Mm-hmm. Um, so, kind of, what would y'all talk about? Yeah, I mean, like the the scripture we did was Philippians three, and Paul was dealing with a little bit different traditions back mm-hmm. in the day, but yeah. yeah, a lot different. Maybe maybe weren't the most beneficial, honestly. But the, some traditions we do have, we talked about. Um, that can be harmful. We let them come out where we place our hope and confidence is. We talked a little bit about just like me, like one is going to church because a lot of times, especially in this area uh, of the world in America, it's like accepted for you to go to church. It's mm-hmm. like, man, like, it's encouraged. Like if you go to church, it's like, cause you, you think he's makes you look like a good person. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like the norm. Right. I kind of told the students, I was like, if someone looked at you and was like, man, why do you go to church on Sunday and Wednesday? A lot of us might be like, I don't know. It's just what I've done since I grew up. And I was like, that's a tradition. Yeah. Right? And it's not a bad thing to do. But that's not what makes you a believer. And if you mm-hmm. if you find confidence and comfort in saying, "Man, I have a perfect attendance, and that's what makes me a Christian," we need to have a little reality check and make, make you understand that's not yeah. what your confidence should be. Yeah, I I really harped on uh, Paul when he talked about if anyone has confidence, yeah, right? Said, Get on the line, big boy. I am I am the dude. Yeah. I am like I am perfect in all things that it meant to be a Jew. Mm-hmm. And he uh, and he says I count it all as loss mm-hmm. for knowing Jesus. And and so that's what I encourage our students is like you know if if this is. One, if, if you're like, man, I, I do just show up because either parents take me or or this is just what I do, yeah. um, you know, you check, see if, you, if you've if you really made that decision to follow Jesus or if you have made a decision to follow Jesus, mm-hmm. um, you know, are these things just being done half-heartedly like the Israelites yeah. um, to where uh, it's just a check the box mm-hmm. instead of it being, I'm doing this because I love Jesus. Yeah. So what a... Or so, so I define my, my I just I define a tradition as something that like kind of like we place our confidence in to make us feel good about our relationship with God a little mm-hmm. bit. What are some things that like in your past has been something that you've d- you you've done? You say, hey, look at this to give yourself a little extra confidence in your relationship with Jesus. Um, I would say uh, prayer or reading God's word. Yeah. Just like okay, if I if I read God's word, I'm gonna have mm-hmm. a d- good day. Or if I read God's word, He'll be happy with me. Or yeah. my relationship will be right. And you know, and like I said, it, it does help our relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are uh, connected with God when we when we know Him and and try to live like Him. Yeah. But um, but with the motive of if I do this, He will do this. Mm-hmm. That's that's the wrong yeah. kind of motive. So yeah, that's a. You knew me growing up, so you knew you know how I used to like. Still, I struggle with it, but how I used to be with mine was kind of like. I would look at, I talked with the 10th grade boys about this in small group. I was like, I would look at all these different areas of sin where I don't struggle. Mm. And I'd be like, oh man, you're just so terrible. But I would ignore my own struggles because mm-hmm. I would, I didn't want to accept the reality that I was actually broken. I like to feel good about myself. Mm-hmm. So I'd be like, oh, I don't struggle in these areas. So, and you, you're smart because you know, you knew me when I was younger. And so you knew that. Yeah, that you was, try to lie to me all the time. Yeah, <laughs> true word to that. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not going to deny it. I was a, I was a, Honorary little sucker back in the day. But I told them, I was like, that can be something. Like, the, whole, the whole take the log out of your own eye concept. Mm-hmm. It's like we can ignore our sins so much to make ourselves feel better, but point the finger so quickly at everyone, everyone else's sins to make ourselves mm-hmm. feel self-righteous. Yeah. And so it was. That's what I reflected on that when I was making this lesson. Yeah. So. Yeah, I thought it was a, a good night. We got one more week of shifting to faith. Mm-hmm. Um, so looking forward to, to seeing how that 
how that ends. And then the week after that, we have C at the Pole. And so yep, looking yep. forward to getting together with all of our uh, other churches in the area mm-hmm. and uh, worshiping as, as one church. So, um, so yeah, we've got uh, that video. Live reactions. Yeah, we're going to watch it and see the, I guess the question of the week was, uh, what superhero do you think Zach, Elijah, uh, and Alyssa are? And so we're going to watch that. And, for the first time. Yeah, for the first time and see uh, see what we've got. All right, let's see how this goes. I spent like four minutes trying to figure out how to get it to start. Question of the week. What's the one no, Zach is Batman. Yeah, Elijah would be like Superman. Zach Superman. Man. No, Zach is Batman. Elijah Superman. Yeah. I think Zach. Okay, what would Alyssa be? Spider-Man. The, the, the cat lady. The cat the girl. Cat lady. Spider-Man. She's Spider-Man all the way. Spider-Man. She's a girl. Like, like, Spider-Gwen. They don't know. They don't know about that. They don't know about Miles Morales probably, universe. That could probably be Batman, I feel like. It's not always DC. Be... I do like DC characters more. Mm-mm. Yeah, oh. I do. Elijah would be Spider-Man. I do. I think they're better. Um, not movie-wise, though. would be... Wonder Woman? Oh, yeah, true. Wonder Woman. Yeah, I feel like Elijah would probably be like, 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 Elijah would be Spider Man. Yeah, I do like Spider Man. I feel like she'd be like Super Woman. Like, it doesn't matter who Zach, Elijah, and Alyssa superheroes would be, because they already are. Oh, what is he saying? It doesn't matter because they already are. Appreciate it. This man said, Steve, call me the Minecraft character. That's crazy. Elijah would be Sonic. Sonic. Alyssa's Tails. Tails. Zach. Definitely Captain America. Keenan just knows what we have in our office. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Wonder Woman. And Max. Elijah would be Iron Man. I feel like Elijah is like. It's because the leg. Okay, I can get mine Iron Man. Okay. Who else have you? You know Alyssa best. Doctor Strange. Oh my god. Doctor Strange. She got a lot of tricks up her sleeve. That's crazy. That's a lot of help. Yeah. Um. You know, okay, it's not like a Marvel superhero, but Sandman from Guardians. Oh. Okay, Superman from Sandman. Spider-Man? Yeah, like, over here. Like, I'll be like, Jack Foster. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think if he was a superhero, man, he would have a. But actually, <laughs> never mind. I have no idea. <laughs> That's a I think Michael. Elijah would be. Um, we said Iron Man, but Loki. I was thinking Elijah. Maybe Wolverine. Maybe Elijah. Yeah. Ooh, I'll take a Wolverine. I I see it. Um, and it. I think that <laughs> is like that one dude from the Guardians of the Galaxy, like the gray and red one. Oh, whatever. Drax. Or that Drax. Is. Um, and then Alyssa would be like. I don't know if that's a good. <laughs> I'm going to assume no, it's because I'm a larger individual and not yeah. as <laughs> mental. <laughs> There you go. Right on. This is Bible like, man. <laughs> okay, I think Elijah would be Batman. What? Yeah. Zach would be like Superman. And then Alyssa would be Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait, no, no, no. She'd be Superwoman. Yes. Yes. I agree with the Superwoman. Elijah's Thor. Elijah's Thor. Yeah. Or, or, or like Superman. <laughs> uh, I feel like it would be Aquaman. I, I could Zach, Aquaman. Zach is. Wait, who's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? Alyssa would be hey, Wonder yeah, Woman. No, 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 no. Zach would be Batman. No, no, no. And Elijah would be Superman. Oh. Um, Elijah 
is Doctor Strange. Yeah. Wait, yeah. move. <laughs> Alyssa is Yolanda from. From oh, I really love her. Black Widow. Oh. Alyssa is Yolanda uh, from Black Widow. Her. And yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Zach is Thor. Superman. Thor. Yeah. No, Zach is Thor. Superman. <laughs> the background sounds not too bad. Spider Man. Uh, who? Zach. Spider Man? Zach would be. Wait, who would Zach be? If I could make up a superhero for Zach, he'd probably be college football man. I'd probably make him a college football character and make up where he has like, the most. Like, That's a Fortnite skin right there, bro. That's what he that can is. Tackle anybody he wants. Yes. And then Elijah with his crutch. He can, oh, he gosh. Can fly. And then he would just swoop in from fly. people and then knock him out with his crutch. <laughs> and then Alyssa. Oh, Alyssa would be... I guess I lost my powers. <laughs> I don't have my crutch like no more. <laughs> Superwoman. Like, wasn't there a real superhero? What? I'm not... Or Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman. She'd be Wonder Woman. That's facts. Personally, I think I should be Barbie. Uh, we would have to cut on that one. <laughs> it's just, ugh, my, it that was fun. I, I have never thought of Doctor Strange for myself. That was interesting. I, think I got the, most of mine was Batman. That was, that was everyone said for me. So I, I heard a lot of cat. <laughs> <laughs> I only heard one Captain America. They were. Oh, a couple of caps in there. Now I'm like, I love. Yeah. It is, I love Captain America. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh. I only got one Iron Man, which was interesting. Yeah, yeah. I had a I had a mixture of oh I did have a lot of Superman. I don't like that. Wolverine, I don't yeah. like yeah Wolverine. I'll take the Wolverine. I like that a lot. My favorite Steve. Steve, yeah. I feel like I got a square head. That's, That's good. Why. That's what it is. That's good. I respect that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that fun video. Um, well, we'll do a new one every week, and uh, make sure you're watching this. Make sure you stop by the, the camera so you can uh, be featured in one of our videos. Yeah, yeah. See you next time.